So a year ago, I was helping my friend Mike with his college application. I actually have to do a lot of research because my application process is very different from him, given that I apply as an international student four years ago. But I was shocked by the insufficiency knowledge that Mike had about the college application, but given that he is already senior level. Well, Mike is a little bit lazy, of course. And, but the most important thing he told me is that it's actually pretty hard to get an appointment with his college counselor. So how hard exactly? Well, the average United States high school counselor has a caseload of 476 students, which gives them that less than half an hour to guide each student during the application season. In addition, even though those information about college application is very accessible online, you can, you can Google it, but Mike told me, as well as other high school students as well, it's if you Google it directly, like something question like um, how, how much support can I get from FAFSA, you didn't get the exact answer. You always find yourself reading those long paragraphs of official text. They don't like it. So Mike's problem is clear. You don't, you can't, it's hard to get an appointment with a counselor. It's hard to do it to yourself. And last but not least, a lazy boy. So. Why not we try to solve this problem by chatbotize it? The word chatbotize is, may sound a little bit strange to you, but people are actually very familiar with chatbot these days. You, like, you, you have Alexa, you have Google Homes, you have Siri, you have all kinds of chatbot you can talk to. You can check your weather channel with the chatbot. So the chatbotize is just to transfer a certain process into a computer-human natural language interaction. Basically, just to build the chatbot to help yourself with it. A little bit about my background. Uh, we started a startup, uh, a natural language processing uh, startup years ago, and we're trying to build a chatbot uh, in different industry. So why not we build the chatbot in this, to solve this problem as well? So we start to build a Alexa pack, a chatbot, and ship it to Mike, a very basic counselor chatbot. It's, uh, the basic functionality, if you ask like, hey Alexa, uh, I don't know which college I should apply to. And the chatbot is just starting asking questions like, okay, what's your preference? What's your major selection? What's your interest? And then give you a bunch of, uh, bunch of college that you're recommended to. Then, or if you're asking questions like, oh, how do I apply to a certain college? The Alexa just to give you uh, a certain steps uh, you should follow, or you can ask in details. So I shipped it to Mike. Our team shipped it to Mike. But Mike is very lazy. I, ha I literally have to call him every day to talk to him, talk to my chatbot, talk to my chatbot, please talk to my chatbot. I want to see how it works. But surprisingly, actually, this works pretty good. Because after a while, I found, because we can see everything that Mike's chat with the chatbot. And after a while, we, can see, we see that Mike finished off his FAST application, Mike sent off his transcript, and sent off his SAT score. We are very happy. And he's starting working on his personal essay. But here's the problem kick kicks in. We're starting to get the question that cannot answer by chatbot. For example, this one. Mike asked the chatbot saying, um, hey Alexa, can I include I know two different languages in my personal statement essay? Well, of course you can, but the chatbot don't know how to respond. And these kind of questions keeps coming in. And we still realize we have to, so we have to, we are monitoring the chatbot every day to try to manually search those questions and educate the chatbot. But we soon realized that it's impossible for us to cover everything, even though college application is a very standard process. But it, when it goes to detail, it's very different in the end. So, we're, so we decided we're going to build a platform to solve this problem. Because, see, if you compare a human counselor and a chatbot counselor, the best thing about chatbot counselor is that it's always there, it's 24-7, it's super efficient, but it's not so smart yet because it needs the expert to educate it. But the human counselor cannot be there every day, 24-7, to answer your question. So why not we build a platform to use the limited power of human counselor to educate the chatbot and let the chatbot counselor to be there 24-7 for students every day? So we started to build up such a platform, and we invited uh, counselors, former admin officers, to educate the chatbot and help Mike's and so as other students. And we started to get more and more questions, more and more unanswered questions, and we let the expert to answer those questions and ship it out. 
and nowadays because, and this works actually pretty well. United States has the top college education system in the world. Millions of brilliant students all over the world applying to U.S. colleges. We don't want, we want everyone who didn't get accepted. It's not because they didn't receive enough guidance. It's not because they missed some crucial step in the college application. We want, at least, at least for college application, at least for college counseling and guidance can be out there absolutely free and available for everyone all the time. We make Wikipedia open source. We make knowledge open source to everyone, to, to the whole world. Why not we do the same thing for college application? Why not we extend the human counselor power by the chatbot and let the counselor, let the expert to teach the chatbot and let the chatbot to help everyone who wants to apply for college and let them to know the every exact steps. Thank you.